2K Sports pregame show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. With me, oh, you know him, Shaquille O'Neal. You know this guy, too, Kenny the Jet Smith. And it's happening out in Phoenix, where the Suns will be going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, for Minnesota, they split the season series against these guys last season, two games apiece. Should be a good one tonight. And for Carl Anthony Towns, just last season, GMs voted him the player they'd most like to build a team around. Shaq, I can't think of higher praise than that. That's because Big Cats is a perfect example of the modern-day center. Can do it all, Ernie, on both ends of the floor. I Ter really like his game. I, would, I agree. He's a terrific scorer on three levels, you know. And that's pretty impressive. He can do it on the box, the mid-range, and the three-ball, Ernie. Yes, he, he has can. a lot of years left in him. He can make a big impact. I probably would want to start a team with him as well. Kevin Harlan will have the call. Game's about to start. We'll see y'all later. It's the home of the Suns here in Phoenix, Arizona as 2K Sports brings you today's action live from the desert. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. This game marks the end of this stretch at home for the Suns. Back on the road tomorrow. This game, an interesting matchup for them, facing another middle-of-the-pack team. They're looking to take a step forward. This is the type of game that they've got to measure the progress with. And seeing where the Suns are, seeing them where they are now, it's easy to forget just how awful they were a season ago. This is a team that's made major strides to lift themselves into the middle of the pack. Boy, I tell you what, it's been a grit and grind effort for them. They know how to win, and that's not something you could say about them last year. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, guys, Carl Anthony Towns has a different disposition than his predecessor and mentor, Kevin Garnett. The KG said of Cat, don't take the smile for weakness. He plays with another type of engine. What they do share, Kevin, is a true love for the game. Back to you. Outstanding, D.A., thank you. Clark, plenty of speed and explosiveness on display tonight. When you uh, widen your lens a little bit, how do you think athleticism in this league has changed throughout the years? Well, it has grown exponentially, Kevin. When you think about the advanced training methods, the knowledge around nutrition and rest and strength training, so beneficial to the athleticism that we see in the league. As a matter of fact, I question whether or not I would be able to play in this day and age based on the athleticism I had back in the 80s. I would have to really embrace that fitness and um, strength training to another level to play today. Oh, I think you would have played in any era and been just fine. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I'm not so sure, though. These guys get after it. They're bigger, faster, and stronger than any players of any era to date. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Charge is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Towns in at the five down low. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. Wiggins with it. Banked in off the glass. Able to finish through contact there, Kevin. Wiggins with the broad shoulders and excellent body control. Nicely done. And stolen by Wiggins. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Passes it to Ubro. Covington with the steal. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Oh! Talk about bringing it. Making the impossible look easy. Wiggins with the great creativity in the air. He typically hangs in the air a little longer than the average bird, though. And that last replay, courtesy of the Under Armour Hover Havoc, unleashing a little bit of chaos. Now here's Booker. A 29-point game for him in the win against Dallas. And boy offensively he lived at the line during that game as well and that, that's where he got a lot of those points and the shot is good from Johnson yeah good awareness there he sees an opening and doesn't hesitate well it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that I mean they wanted no part of him on that layup now here's Teague last time 14 points for him they get the rebound 
Always going up for the alley-oop here. Stolen by Warren. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Johnson finds Booker. Outside Warren. Shot clock at five. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. No good, shot missing. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. I tell you what, uh, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. Well, I think the key was the determination and grit and toughness they played with. You've got to be focused to do that, and they work. Now here's Johnson following the miss by Andrew Wiggins, and it's Warren with the jam. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> well, you need both to make it special, and they pulled it off just right. For Phoenix, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. From 10 feet out, Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, here's Towns playing Sacramento. He was nearly unstoppable. Back to Teague. Sharich against Warren. Sharich, that's good. Sharich knows he has the touch needed to capitalize inside. The Suns have gone 4-5 or five from the field so far. Here's Warren, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And remember, T.J. Warren, he averaged 25 a game his second season at NC State. You want to know his role in the NBA? It's quite simple, a professional score. And with Warren, with kind of an old-school approach, Greg, very active with his mid-range game. And this guy can get buckets around that rim. As he stretches his range, I think he'll only get more and more dangerous. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Well, last season, the Wolves ended a 14-year playoff drop. It was the longest in the association. And, and they did it in dramatic fashion, a winner-take-all overtime victory in the final game of the season against the Nuggets. I actually watched that game, and it was worth staying up late for. And the Suns making a change here. Bender's checked in. All three throws, good for Moore. And at the regular season brought encouragement for the Wolves, Clark. The postseason showed us just how far they've got to go. That's right. That's exactly right, Kevin. A win in the first round, just one win. The Rockets were a hard matchup for them, but there's a big difference between being a playoff team and a title contending team. Now here's Jang. A 14-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. 4-3, Covington gets it to go from beyond the arc. Man, nice perimeter shooting by Robert Covington. Just has such a really aesthetically pleasing release on those long ball attempts a nice shot by Booker uh, okay we got a nice little back and forth going here yeah and I like it I love seeing that it's a lot of fun when that happens these teams are going at each other from the outside now here's Teague he's been quiet so far still no points in the game Rush contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line Boy, I tell you what, so hard trying to corral Towns. He's got excellent strength, good feet, good hands, and he's got a will to score the ball that you've got to appreciate. Well, the 2016 Rookie of the Year, Carl Anthony Towns, a.k.a. Cat, only the fifth player to win that award unanimously. And by the way, in year two, he set the Timberwolves franchise record for scoring in a season. You talk about Towns' sophomore year. He became the first player, Clark, in NBA history to record 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 103 pointers in a single season. Wow. 
That is impressive, boy. But his shooting ability um, for his size is remarkable. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me before his career is done, Kevin, if he joins Dirk Nowitzki as the only seven-footers in the 50-40-90 club. 50% two-point field goals, 40% or better from three, and 90% from the line. Back to Crawford. Launches a three. Another three for Phoenix. Boy, you got to love the unselfish play of Bender. When he sees a teammate wide open, he doesn't hesitate at all to whip the ball over to him. Pass to Wiggins. Outside, Towns. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hey, Andrew Wiggins, the, the number one overall pick back in 14. Great bloodlines, the son of pro athletes. The game just seems to come easy to him. You know, Greg, the game comes so easy to Wiggins, but some say he needs to be more assertive, more aggressive. Do you see that? I mean, high expectations for a player that was taken first overall. The length and athleticism should enable him to impact the game in so many ways, but, you know, his motor doesn't always rev high enough to take advantage. First one falls for him. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Some changes for Phoenix. Troy Daniels comes in for T.J. Warren. And Josh Jackson subbed in for Devin Booker. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Taj Gibson's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Well, Clark, a few teams at this point in the season have battled through back-to-back -back games. Just how hard is that on the body? to play in consecutive nights in this league. As I recall, Kevin, it wasn't terribly difficult. As a matter of fact, I kind of enjoyed it. You could really? either get the bad taste of a loss out of your mouth quickly by playing another game. You didn't have to really practice. Um, there's some energy concerns, obviously, but when you're well-rested and excited about playing, you find the energy. But I do believe there's studies that show there's a greater probability for injury the more back-to-back -back games that you have. That's one of the reasons the league has mm. sought to minimize the number of back-to-back -back games across the schedule. And here's Wiggins following the three from Dragon Bender. And let's take a look at some numbers for Josh Jackson. How his last 10 games have gone. He's around 10 points per game, two assists, and three rebounds. And you look at those numbers, not bad, but guys, I think he can do better, and he knows it. And he has high expectations for himself as well, guys, but he just hasn't delivered fully on his potential yet. And that one misses. And what a summer it was for the Suns. Landed the top pick in the draft, taking Aiden, and brought in some talent through free agency as well. Booker signing that extension solidified a very productive summer for the Suns. Having two young players that complement each other so well is huge for an up-and-coming team like the Suns. And he can't hit the second. And so Crawford will bring it up for Phoenix. It's a three-point game. This, their first chance to take a look at Minnesota this season. The game is the first of a three-game season series for these clubs, both looking to take round one. And Greg, the first time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate you're better. And that could make it easier down the road. Nicely executed play there. The pass on target and Wiggins with the explosive finish. Here is Daniels, currently averaging almost six points a game. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. And Zhang picks to Wiggins. Bridges with the steal. And up the court come the Suns on the break. And he makes that one. And it's an eight-point Phoenix lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside Dan. Left side Gibson. Bridges with the steal. And now here comes Daniel. 
Eden the break. Wiggins with the block. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender posted. Pass to Gibson. He kicks it to Rose. Six on the shot clock. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Rose has got his first two points. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, you know, both teams scoring at a really steady clip. If you like good offense, you've come to the right spot. This is your game. And that's the role they want for Rose. Getting guys going through his passing, especially when he can find them in rhythm. Bridges dishes to Daniels. Phoenix no good that time either. Timberwolves trail by four. Now the feed to Dang. Rose passes to Gibson. Here's Dang. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Oh, nice, strong drive there. If that's who's going to be guarding him, then he's got some weight to throw around. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Suns. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And Dang brings a lot to the table. I mean, a terrific defender, and he's very reliable as a scorer at all three levels. Now here's Crawford. What a tremendous game he played against Dallas. Bender. They get it again. A second chance effort. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And Josh Jackson, the fourth pick in that 2017 draft out of Kansas. A, a hyper-athletic 6'8", and he's got the handles, I think, to become a terrific slasher in the league. Two shots. That free throw missing. And Jackson plays with a great motor. He's got some grit in his game. I mean, he's a competitor. I mean, plays with that chip on both shoulders. But, but give me a, a guy who cares. As a coach, better to have guys you need to rein in rather than those you, you have to kind of force to be aggressive. And he can't make the second free throw either. Listen, both. Well, you look at Josh Jackson. This guy is really skilled. I love his skill set. He's a lengthy forward who I think is only going to get better on both ends of the floor as time goes on. Now oh, here's Wiggins. He also had a big impact in that win against the Kings. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Here's Rose after Josh Jackson's bucket. And unfortunately, injuries will always be the concern with Derrick Rose. Still loves the game of basketball. Knows he is limited compared to what he once was. Amazing with all he's fought through, he can still perform at such a high level. Free throw. Good, Rose. And with Rose, as you said, his love of the game is still there. And he still wants to play. I mean, many players would have just walked away from having their body betrayed. But Rose said last season he loves what he gets to do and still would be a water boy if he had to. You have to admire Rose's attitude and approach in that regard. Fans can see what a team is doing on the court, but they can't see behind the scenes 
Clark, in your experience, what are some of the hallmarks of a team with great locker room chemistry? Yeah, you know, it varies from team to team. You know, you've got various personalities, but I think the one common theme is really a respect for each other and a willingness to sacrifice for each other. That creates an atmosphere for people to be their best. The teams that have good chemistry, there may be friction, there may be drama, but underneath any of that is a real uh, respect for each other and a commitment to sacrificing for each other. On the wing, Daniels, defended by Jones. Crawford kicks to Bridges. Clock at four. Bender with the bucket. There's not a lot you can do, fellas, to combat Bender when he's that close to the rim. I mean, he's just too long and too good in the post. Now here's Jones. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. Bounce pass from Rose. Stolen by Bender. Here's Bridges. That shot off. Great D that time from Gibson. And there's the pass to Towns. Deep two from Crawford. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Crawford's got five. Timberwolves trail by five. Outside Rose. Kicks it to Jones. Back to Rose. Here's the floater. Towns with the bucket. He has seven. You know, defensively, there's not a lot you can do in that situation. I mean, Towns is just so big and strong and long. Really hard to stop him in the paint. Now, here's Bender. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Dallas. Kudos to him for his energy, especially on the glass where he was an absolute beast. Charge against Jackson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Jones finds Gibson. Charge outside. Five to shoot. Rose, no good. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the inside. And Crawford with the basket on the assist by Jackson. Seven points for Jamal Crawford. That's their third straight make off an assist. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rose, good. And Rose has shown himself capable of knocking down that three when he's got some daylight. And it's good for two. And the Suns lead by four. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gibson down low. Defended by Bridges. No good from Gibson. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Jones, that's for two. And the first shot of the night for him, missing. And so it's the Phoenix Suns heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We come back right after this. Josh Jackson, the fourth pick in 2017. He's already made an impression on his teammate, Devin Booker. Josh is an ultra competitor. He has the same mindset, that winning mindset. And, you know, I think that's where it starts, you know, people that actually care about the game. And Josh is definitely one of those guys. Well, these two have a very bright future. I mean, between Booker's shooting and Jackson's defensive versatility and potential, that's a duo to watch. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen, guys, from Phoenix, what do you guys see? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Yeah, everything is sharp. I mean, nothing forced, precise passes, taking care of the ball. That's good stuff. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. I'm Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. We've got Johnson. 
Rashawn Holmes out there with Warren. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. Suns leading by five. And some other contenders, Clark and the rest, are faltering. The window now seems to be opening wider for the Timberwolves as they march down this playoff road. Yeah, they're closing in on it, Kevin. The window is a little wider, but you've got to walk through it. And right now, they're still second tier. And Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Teague, the pass to Sharich. It's hauled in by Warren. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And I think that's got to affect your mental game. I mean, missing open shots like that, unacceptable, and it'll probably mess with your head a little bit, too. And Towns gets it to go. Yeah, you see right there, Towns invites contact. Unafraid of it, looking for it, and he's able to score through it. Phoenix has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And the call will be against Jeff T. That's his first foul. Jang, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Johnson kicks to Warren. Back to Johnson. Pass to Holmes. Just five to shoot. It's stolen by T. Takes it from ten. Towns, no luck. Suns lean by three. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Johnson against T. Johnson, the pass to Oubre. Come get it, come get it. Booker inside, working on Jones. Nice defense that time. The agility and length of town, allowing him to clamp down on the shooter. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Makes it off the glass. Towns has got four points in the quarter. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, not a lot of effort put forth on defense there. I mean, I think he's definitely got to play up on him more and off the screen in that situation. Covington from deep three-point range. Minnesota working out with a new shot clock. And at the top of the key, Towns. And here's Covington from the arc. It's hauled in by the Suns. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the deep. And you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in the real zone. So it's Minnesota now. Phoenix able to drain the three. T kicks to Zhang. Trying to find Towns. Gets it to him. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Phoenix calls timeout. And Carl Anthony Towns, one of the most prolific three-point shooters in the league, at least top three amongst all seven footers, and his three-point percentage elite as well, over 40%. Wiggins is checked in for Tyus Jones. All right, a chance to check out stats for Kelly Oubre. He's really stood out for them over the past month, averaging about 11 points, four assists, and three rebounds. And, and some pretty good numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways to go, but I like what I'm seeing right now. And Tom said he'd emulate Kevin Durant as a kid playing on the perimeter at Kentucky. Cal made him play inside, work in the post, and use his size. So go, going back to his roots with his three-point shooting, the, the association experiencing a three-point renaissance, and he really does fit the mold. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots.
That free throw missing. Mark, we know you were a great athlete. Would you have enjoyed playing at the pace we're seeing in today's NBA style? I hope I could have played in today's game. Again, I was not an uber-athletic guy. Athletic enough to get things done on the court was a skilled basketball player more than a great athlete. So the athleticism of today might have challenged me a bit. But I still think I could have played and been effective in today's game. I agree. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. On the wing, Wiggins. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five-for-eight clip. Yeah, high percentage look there, Kevin. I mean, Wiggins reads the defense and then basically just takes what he's given there. And the call will be against Jeff T. That's his third foul of the game. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. in the boat covered by Wiggins frozen the guy is just ice cold unable to contribute offensively down low Chang no luck Phoenix has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three point shot tonight very respectable Towns with the steal let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge well, guys, Devin Booker is a 20-point-per-game scorer since his second season in the league, and he knows you have to have confidence to be a great shooter. He said, know the work you've put in, trust your game. Just because you miss shots, you can't doubt yourself. They're supposed to fall, and they will if you keep shooting. Kevin? Next gentlemen, shot mentality for sure. Thanks, D.A. And he makes the first. And so he hits both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Outside Teague. To the middle. Fades and shoots. But he gets it back. Yeah, those shots are taken totally in rhythm. High percentage, quality shots, and really getting whatever he wants. Johnson kicks to Warren. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now, here's Covington. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Kings in Sacramento. And, you know, that night his defense was remarkable as well. He was excellent at coming up with steals. Here's Holmes following the three by Minnesota. Pass to Booker. Holmes with it. Towns on him. Holmes finds Warren. Booker outside. Lock at six over Wiggins. No good from Booker. He's still fighting it. And sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. He's trying to get in the rhythm, but right now he's playing hard, but he's hurting his team. Basket counts. And this is Carl Anthony Towns at his very best. When he's got it going like this, he keeps it going. And the Suns call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And the Suns here with a different look. Rogan Bender, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Jackson comes in for Oubre. Troy Daniels, he's checked in for Booker. And it's Crawford in for Tyler Johnson. Timberwolves also changing it up. Taj Gibson's checked in for Towns. Bang comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Rose in for Jeff T. And now that we have a moment, let's see the best free throw shooting teams in the NBA. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. You know, it's really a team-wide talent. You want to foul to stop layups, but against them, you're not saving much. They'll make you pay time and again. Mm -hmm. 
No good on the free throw. And Tom Thibodeau is a demanding coach, Clark. We know that his teams have responded, though. But sometimes teams can wear down from that style. Uh, does that concern you in Minnesota? Not really, Kevin. I mean, he's shown that he's got a proven track record for having teams be successful. Um, and with ownership behind him, I think the players will follow his lead. Remember, he's got the dual role as coach and president of operations. Not sure if that is always the best way to go about it, but in this case, with the alignment with ownership, I think it'll work. Now here's Gibson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Rose, that's good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And Daniels up top, covered by Wiggins. And it's good, two points. Crawford's got the game tied up here for Phoenix. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Rose passes to Jang. He dishes it to Wiggins. In the corner, Gibson with it. Wiggins drawn the double team. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Here's what the Minnesota Timberwolves have lined up on their schedule. On Monday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. And for that Thunder game, it's going to be a battle for this group. You get the feeling they'll need to be at their sharpest if they want to come away with a victory. And it's in there. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Rose kicks to Jang. Pass to Dan. Here's Rose. The dish to Gibson. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Rose against Crawford. Outside Warren. And Gorgie Jang is going to pick up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. You know, they've been strong in the post so far tonight as well. I mean, you always need to get points down low to have balance on offense. And he makes the first. And Phoenix making a change here. Bridges checks in. Free throws good from Warren. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by one. They owes the Kings after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Now here's Gibson. No points in the game yet for him. Wiggins drives in. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Out of the pick and roll. Wiggins doing a nice job. Staying poised. Causing the defender. Just enough hesitation where he can make his move. Crawford kicks to Bender. To the inside. And it's Warren with the jam. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth. Unbelievable. Now here's Rose. A 17-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. And he passed the ball so well in that game, keeping everybody involved even as he was racking up all those points. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. Minnesota making a switch here. Charge is checked in. And we'll examine here how the distribution has been between three-pointers and two-pointers tonight for Phoenix. Timberwolves trail by three. 
And here's Wiggins. He's got 17. This is the charge. He kicks it to Gibson. Here's Wiggins. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Boy, I tell you what, that seven-foot condor-like wingspan of Wiggins helps him get to the miss and convert it into point. Now here's Crawford. He's got 11. Here's Daniels. A three-pointer, no good. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. And, Greg, what's not to like about Taj Gibson? I mean, he's a hard worker defensively, finishes well inside, has got the mid-range shooting touch. But what I like most, really, his unselfishness. He started, came off the bench, no complaints. This is a guy that just wants to win. Here's Bender following the score by Derrick Rhodes. Back to Crawford. Shot clock at six. A three ball. Bender, no good. Well, it's surprising that he clunked that one. I mean, especially since the defense was nowhere to be found. Wiggins finds charge. Back to Wiggins. They get it back. It's good. Now it's a three-point Timberwolves lead. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Here's Crawford after the basket by Dario Sharch. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Minnesota's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Rose kicks to Wiggins. Wiggins drawn the double team. And there's Rose on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists now tonight. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. For Phoenix, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. And Tell guys, that's a pretty shots. good improvement over last Two season. Shot. And the first one drops. Both free throws good from Daniels. 104 left in the first half. Rose scanning the floor. Wiggins left side. Over Daniels. Misses off the right iron. The Suns have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice efficient 50%. There's 31 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Just five on the clock. A three. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. Minnesota in the lead. Outside Rose. And for Derrick Rose, the question will be how much of his MVP level of play from 2011 can he recover? You'd love to see him return to that form. First one at the line is good. Uh, 
Rose hits them both. Now here's Booker. And so it's Andrew Wiggins making highlights for Minnesota. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin, with Carl Anthony Towns. Carl, you got some scoring going in that first half. What did you take advantage of? Uh, I'm just finding spots, I'm not chasing it, letting it come to me. Uh, just using what my teammates give me. Productive half so far, Carl Anthony. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, it's good to have you back. You're watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. This right here is Kenny the Jet Smith. This right here is Shaquille O'Neal. Me, I'm just Ernie. Andrew Wiggins was the man in the first. He ended up with 19 points, three rebounds, and one steal. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Well, they've been pounding. I mean, pounding it in the paint. Not just taking the first three-pointer when it came across. That keeps the defense on its toes. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, their poor rebounding is really hurting them. It hasn't killed them on the scoreboard yet, but they need to pick it up. This is a game they can win. If they come out hustling in the second half, they can win. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. The streets around this beautiful arena in downtown Phoenix, the home of the Suns. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Andrew Wiggins in this game, he's been everywhere. His points production thus far, off the charts. It's only been two quarters, just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's who Tom Thibodeau is starting the second half with. Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Robert Covington out there with Dario Saric, and it's Towns in at the five, roaming the paint. Hey, you know what? Even when you hit Sharic, I mean, he figures out a way to score anyway. Sharic, the Croatian forward, came into the NBA fairly polished, has still improved his game year to year, which is a credit to him and his work ethic. There still are areas that he can work on, but make no mistake about it, this guy has shown from day one that he's an impact player. With Sharich and how he plays, Clark, he's developing his non-scoring skills as well. Yeah, he's a very smart player, Kevin, especially for how young he is. And I think he's got a game that's just going to continue to grow and refine with time. He's proved he actually can, on occasion, act as a point forward if you need it. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And here's Booker from the arc. Drains it from beyond the arc. Booker's got six. Love that aggressive mentality constantly looking to put the ball in the basket. Teague against Johnson. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got 21 in the game. Solid interior defense, but Wiggins with the body control to adjust. Nicely done. Suns trail by five. Johnson kicks to hole. Warren the pass to Johnson. Now here's Booker. Teague covering. 
No good from Booker. I mean, his field goal percentage isn't good. He's not helping his team out there shooting this poorly. The shot by Sharch, no good. The Suns have gone one of three since starting the second half. Oubre dishes to Johnson. Back to Oubre. Towns with the steal. And even three on three break. A floater. Covington shot is off. Phoenix has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Booker with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Wiggins against Booker. Outside Warren. Four on the clock. Phoenix no good that time either. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Wiggins drives in. And the shot goes down. Wiggins has got four this quarter. Well, I think this is an ideal recipe for Wiggins. Attacking on the drive, making people try to match up with his athleticism. That's a winning combination for Wiggins. Johnson, good. And, and look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. Johnson against T. Here's Towns. Rebound by the Suns. Holmes got rebound number five here tonight. Johnson outside for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Teague feeling it out a bit. Inside, Towns. And Towns throws it down. Teague's ability to find the open man makes him one of the better passing point guards in the league. And the Suns call time here. And you look at Jeff Teague, now with a decade in the league out of Wake Forest. Greg, what does he bring to the table aside from the fact that he's been in the playoffs every single year of his career? Yeah, I mean, he's an explosive slasher and really has grown as a playmaker. Not, not a star, but a quality starting point guard. Jackson, he's checked in for Phoenix. And a change for the Timberwolves. Gorky Dang's checked in for Dario Sharch. Suns trail by seven. Johnson kicks to Booker. The pass to Warren. Now Jackson. Seven points in the game. Down low. Here's Towns. Here's Covington. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Passes it to Booker. Takes the 13-footer. And Warren able to finish. Warren's got 19 points. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Here's Towns. It's Covington on the wing. He can't get it to go. Now the Suns take it the other way. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. Good, he hits the jump shot. Now just a three-point Minnesota lead. And, you know, Jackson is terrific at shooting off the catch. And that's a credit to his footwork and his shot readiness before the ball arrives. Now here's Towns. He's got 19. Here's Covington. That's short off the rim. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. And there's Jackson on the assist by Johnson. Jackson's got 11 points. Yeah, that's just an example of effort there. Jackson taking pride in beating everybody down the floor in transition. T kicks to Towns. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Towns has got four points in the quarter. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. It's a three-point game. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That sets off a five-game tour for them. Puts it up from 15, and it falls over the rim and in. Six points for Teague. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Minnesota. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. He's starting to heat up from outside. 
That's his second this half. Minnesota calls timeout. And if you look at the numbers for Devin Booker last season, I mean, he upped his assists and rebounding, his scoring and shooting percentages. He has continued to impress with his development. Some changes for Phoenix. Bender is checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Bridges comes in for T.J. Warren. And it's Crawford in for Tyler Johnson. Timberwolves also changing it up. Luol Dang is checked in for Robert Covington. Rose comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Tyus Jones subbed in for T. Towns, it's tipped. And Bender really using that nine-foot-three standing reach effectively to block these shots. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Greg, if you know anything about Devin Book, so dedicated to his craft, what's next for him, you think, in taking his game to the next level? No doubt, I think it, it starts at the defensive end. I mean, he's one of the league's best at scoring the basketball, but defensively, I think that's going to be the challenge if he wants to become truly an elite player. Bridges kicks to Jackson. Crawford outside. Back to Jackson. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. And he connects with the jumper. Booker's got 11 points. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Rose finds Towns. Trying to find Jones. He gets it to him. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Jones has got his first two points of the night outstanding vision from Carl Anthony Towns. Not only is he willing to give it up, but he's ready to find his teammates when they're open. It's stolen by Jones. Here's Dang. And the layup's good off the glass. Now it's a six-point Timberwolves lead. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean... If they don't, things are just going to get worse from him. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That one is on Towns. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Troy Daniels, he's checked in for the Suns. And that one falls for Bridges. Timberwolves leading by three. Rose with the ball. 15 points in the game. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikael Bridges. That's foul number two for him. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Troy Daniels. Jones against Crawford. Jones the pass to Towns. Now here's Jang. Bridges with the steal. And Gorgie Jang is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Crawford. 13 points in the game. Down low. Here's Oubre. And finished off by Oubre. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And Derrick Rose certainly equipped athletically to punish teams in the paint. Crawford with the ball. Jones covering. Rose against Crawford. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. And the Timberwolves call timing. And Jamal Crawford closing in on 39 years of age. Clark, he doesn't look like he's aged today. He does not. Baby-faced assassin. This guy is so good and so smooth. And you're right. He's been an ageless wonder. Great maturity. 
a really good teammate and obviously an outstanding score. I think he'll be playing this way and looking like he looks 10 years from now, Kevin. Now here's Rose. 17 points in the game. Six to shoot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Dragon Bender. The Timberwolves have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. The Suns trailer. Crawford kicks to Ubre. Pass to Bender. He dishes it to Ubre. Crawford up top. Five on the clock for the lead. They grab their own miss. Jackson. And it's all evened up. Jackson's got eight points in the quarter. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Pass to Jang. Now here's Gibson. D right on him. Floats one up. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bridges has got four rebounds in this game. Oubre, no one around him. A miss that time would have put him up. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. Now here's Crawford. 13 points in the game. And here's Oubre. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got his third assist on the night. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Suns. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they scored off turnovers. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kelly Oubre. Sharich is highly engaged and very good at keeping the defense on their toes and making them commit the foul. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And, you know, really, Sharich's skills are tailor-made for today's NBA. He's a big guy who does a little bit of everything at both ends, and he's a laser from that three-point line. Evans, he's checked in for Jamal Crawford. So one for two that time with the strike. Suns on offense. They're on a 12 to four run. Here's Jackson, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. Jackson's got 17 now. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Well, a chance to check out Mikel Bridges here. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's averaging about seven points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And you look at those numbers, not bad, but guys, I think he can do better, and he knows it. And he has high expectations for himself as well, guys, but he just hasn't delivered fully on his potential yet. And he can't hit the second. And Taj Gibson, 6'9", but his long arms help make him a big factor defensively club. Well, I think his defense has really been his value to teams. 2017-18, he had career highs in all his shooting percentages. This guy is just what you call a rock-solid two-way player. Here's Sharch. 
They get a bet. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a look here at the shot chart for Jackson. And it's really been a tremendous night. He's been efficient. He's been a major driving force in this offense. And it's no small task to try to slow him down. Once he gets rolling, like we've seen in this game so far, watch out. That free throw, good from Jang. And, you know, Gorgie Jang, not just remarkable for his basketball talent, but for how he's given back to his native country of Senegal. I mean, we talk about unselfishness all the time in the basketball sense, but this is really unselfishness in the greatest and truest sense. Wiggins is checked in for the Timberwolves. Teague comes in for Rose. Great touch from the line. Always important for bigger guys to be able to come through at the strike. Warren against Gibson. Booker drops in the layup for two. Booker's got ten points here in the second half. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Sharks, that's good. Yeah, you know, Sharks can get it done just about from anywhere, and he's comfortable firing from mid-range, too. Phoenix leading by three. Booker up top, covered by Wiggins. Booker looking around on the Wayne Johnson. Over Jang. And the miss. And that's Jang affecting the shot. Nice timing defensively. And this guy's a well-rounded player in my mind. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. Suns lead by three. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. We've got Devin Booker, T.J. Warren out there with Holmes. Then there's Oubre, and it's Johnson in at the point guard. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Booker. Inside. Banked in off the glass. Holmes got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Suns. Teague finds Covington. He's looking for Teague and finds him. Here's Sharch. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And I tell you what, guys. Teague is just not looking for his own shot. I mean, a dependable point guard who shares the rock well. One shot, gentlemen. one falls from Sharich. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now, here's Holmes. From past the arc. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Covington's got four rebounds now tonight. Wiggins dishes to Gibson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Gibson's got it all tied up now for Minnesota. The sun shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Holmes passes to Warren. Chalk up two there. Warren's got 21 in the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Now here's Teague. Here's Sharch. It's tipped. 
Booker outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Minnesota. Both free throws good from Booker. Timberwolves trail by four. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Teague finds Wiggins and stolen by Booker. From 15 feet away, and that one goes long. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. He trains the quick shot. Wiggins has got 25 points in the game. Teague against Johnson. In the corner, it's Oubre. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. T kicks to Covington. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Wiggins drawn the double team. Looking to end his cold spell. Offensive rebound. Towns. And he finishes nicely on the layup. 25 points in the game. Well, I like the way Towns reads where the ball is coming off when it's missed. And he's got excellent timing as well. And did a good job beating everybody to the ball. Now here's Johnson. Here's Warren. And the rejection by Towns. To the inside. Poke loose and stolen by Booker. To the middle. Covington with the steal. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Count the basket and the foul. It goes on Devin Booker. Man, I'm impressed by the level of concentration Covington has on these difficult finishes. I mean, in this league, you have to get used to making shots despite being bumped a little bit or being challenged at a high level. The wall dang is checked What's in up? for the Timberwolves. drops he ties it up and watching Robert Covington and, and how he plays out there a great 3 and D guy the ultimate role player on a team and he just gels well with his teammates and he doesn't force shots the Timberwolves have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth strong work at that end of the floor Oubre pulls it in and Greg with Covington, he makes a point with his game to, to take what the defense gives him. And sometimes that means Covington will go nights where he shoots very little. He's okay with that. He's focused on efficiency and making the best decision for the team. Only cares about wins and a true team player. Here's Warren following the score by Lou Alden. Back to Johnson. Just three to shoot. Over T. Johnson can't hit. For Minnesota, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter, and they take the lead. And that's now nine points for Luol Dang. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Teague drives in, and it's slammed in by Teague. 
Yeah, the speed of Teague on the drive could not be stopped or contained. He finished off that play with some real power. Suns trail by four. Johnson outside. Holmes passes to Book. No good with the triple. The Timberwolves shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Here's Warren after the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Now here's Teague. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. The Suns making a switch here. Henders checked in. Minnesota also with the sub. Charge is checked in. Covington kicks the tee. To the inside. Here's Charge. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Now, here's one. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And it's Sharch, that time on the assist from Covington. Covington's got four assists in the game. There's the pass to Bender. Some solid defense from Sharich. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. Teague finds Wiggins. Towns down low. Working on Booker. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. A bit of an up-and-down season for Covington last year. Great 3 and D player overall, though. Yeah, very good in those areas. He started out really hot, Kevin, and then was on his way to what looked like a breakout year, and his confidence waned with his shot, kind of like a golfer struggling with his putter. Oh, take but a break. This guy, take a break. because he defends, he Two has shot. good size, and he does have a good shot, I think he'll bounce back nicely. Well, free throw drops for Towns. And, you know, really, Towns is the total package. A versatile score, skilled defender, and strong competitor. The Suns making a switch here. Oubre's checked in. Minnesota also with the sub. Rose is checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Suns trail by eight. Johnson surveying the floor. Booker outside. End of the pass to Uber. On the wing, Johnson. Teague covering. Six on the shot clock. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Teague. Holmes kicks to Uber. Nailed from three-point land. Oubre's got six points in the quarter. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Towns dishes to T. Back to Towns. To the paint. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. I tell you what, Teague is superb at knocking down shots, even when he's getting hit. I mean... He finds a way to muscle him up and in. One shot.
and Jeff T grew up in Indianapolis spent a season with the Pacers Clark you've spent some time around that team what are your impressions of T I think he's really solid kind of a quiet leader steady reliable uh, he actually stayed in his parents basement while he was with the Pacers pretty frugal I would add too they say you can't go home again I guess he proved that theory wrong Holmes can't get it to go in down low and that basket pushes the lead to double digits and it's a 10 point Minnesota lead oh Covington really is fantastic at getting his arms high in the air when he's attempting a shot inside really gives the defense no chance to catch up to it or get to it now here's Bender kicks to Johnson Oubre passes to book over Rose and it's rebounded by Covington Covington's got rebound number five here tonight. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Rose in the post. He's guarded by Booker. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. And Rose with the lay-in. Rose has got 19 points. And when Rose gets going and gets this kind of confidence offensively, you're in trouble. He can just flat out take over again. Phoenix calls timeout. You look at Downs, he's really been playing well. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Carl Anthony Towns. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Igor Kokoshkov coaching his team during the break. He is not happy with the turnovers. He said, we have got to get some shots. It's as simple as that, guys. Play smart and value the basketball. We'll see if the message sunk in, Kevin. Thanks, David. Teague against Johnson. Out to Sharch. The tray. The shot that time, not on target. The Suns go the other way with it. Booker with no one around. No good from outside. Timberwolves leading by 10. Wiggins drives in. Here's Sharch. That shot, no good. Nice D from Warren. And here's Booker from the arc. Here's Holmes, and Holmes throws it down. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And great cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft, I don't even think is in his vocabulary. Here's Sharich after the Suns pick up two. Just five on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Suns trail by eight. Booker outside. Over Wiggins. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. 19 points for Devin Booker. Teague against Johnson. Towns down low. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Towns has got seven points for the quarter. Towns is a handful in deep. I mean, you look at his size, his height, and his length. Combine that with his strength, hard to guard. Now, here's Warren. Johnson down low. Teague covering. Johnson finds Warren. The Suns need to get a shot off. Again, the miss by Booker. And Minnesota has possession. They're leading by eight. Johnson against T. Towns down low. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Towns has got 32 points in the game. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? As long as required, Greg. I mean, you can tell they want to put this thing to bed. And the Suns call time here. 
They trail by 10. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Oubre, about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. For three, Booker, Minnesota with the rebound. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. Booker against T. So it's Minnesota winning this one easily. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Andrew, an impressive win for you guys. How will you look back on tonight? Uh, it feels great, you know, and uh, I think the whole team played great. You know, we shared the ball, uh, we grabbed rebounds, we made big possessions, you know, so I think it was a great game. Hey, Andrew, congrats again. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later.